Well, hello. Uh, the purpose of this video is uh, to teach you how to plow with a walking plow. Plowing with a walking plow is a lot of fun. And we have uh, winter rye planted here as a cover crop. And we planted this last year, and the girls helped uh, plant it last year. We have a video of that. And uh, so we're turning this under with the plow, and then the earthworms will eat it. So uh, it's like an all you can eat buffet for the earthworms that we're creating. And uh, horses are liking the cover crop too. So we'll come around now here and I'll show you the plow and a little bit about, about how it works. Go ahead. So on this particular plow, we have what's called a joiner. And the joiner is like a little plow up here and it cuts uh, a little furrow here and it tends to make it um, bury, it'll bury the uh, grass is better to have a joiner on here. And uh, the for steering this plow, if you move it over this way, it'll take a more narrow cut, more narrow furrow. Uh, if you turn the handles over this way, it'll make a more wide furrow. So that's kind of how you steer it. Um, then with here is your depth right here. So if you hook it in this hole down here, the horses are pulling forward, but they're also pulling kind of up because of their shoulders. So when it's hooked down here, then that makes the uh, plow tend to go more shallow. And then if, if we were to hook it in this hole right here, it would plow deeper. Uh, so you kind of have to adjust it depending on how deep you want the plow and how your soil is. Okay. And the way I like to hold the lines is uh, across like this. Sometimes my horses get out of line so I have to pull one uh, rein or the other. Stan Fast has stepped over his trace here. Come on. There we go. All right.
it up. We hit roots. Uh, this ground here was woods not too long ago and they took a bulldozer and they cleared it and uh, you can see there's a big uh, root in here and uh, when we hit it the plow uh, jumped out of the ground. You can see it started here and then it hit that and it jumped out of the ground. And you know in our life, in the soil of our heart, sometimes we have rocks that will keep God from doing His work in our life. Sometimes we have roots of bitterness in our life that keeps God from being able to do His work. But God has given us a beautiful promise in His Word. Let me find it here. It's in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 36. And this is Ezekiel chapter 36 and verse 26. It says, A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. So we may have like the sin of smoking in our life, smoke of alcohol addiction or lust, anger, uncontrolled anger. Those are like rocks in our life. And Jesus promises that he'll take these out of our life. He'll, he'll take them out of the garden of our life. He'll throw them out so that our, the garden of our heart can be beautiful and grow beautifully for the Lord. You know, Jesus said something about plowing. This is um, Luke chapter 9 and verse 62. And Jesus said unto him, no man, having put his hand to the plow and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of God. So if I tried to plow this garden here and I was going along and I was looking back behind me, I wouldn't be able to get it done. I have to keep focused on guiding the team where they're supposed to walk. And in the same way, when we choose to serve the Lord Jesus Christ, it's like we're plowing and we have to focus on the goal, on where we're headed. Because if we look back, there's no way we can plow. This is uh, verse uh, 61. Another said, Lord, I will follow thee, but let me first go and bid them farewell, which are at home in my house. Sometimes even those that are in our, in our house, our family members, may distract us in keeping us from following Jesus. So let's remember the lesson that we learned from plowing. When our hand is on the plow, we have to keep it there. We have to keep our eyes on the goal. Heaven is our goal. Jesus Christ is our goal. We can't look back. We can't get distracted. Let's always purpose in our heart. Never to look back, but keep focusing. Keep going. Because one day the work will be done. We'd like to sing you an old song about plowing. If your hands on the plow, hold on, hold on. Though the soil be sterile and hard, the plowshare will make the fallow ground break, and the plowman will have his reward. Earth's bosom will sparkle with emerald green, and his grain will be golden keen. The reapers will come with loud harvest home, and the reapers will joyfully sing. 
Hold on, hold on, my brother, hold on, hold on till the prize is won. Hold on to the plow and weary not now, for the work is almost done. If your heart's in the work, hold on, hold on. Though the way should be gloomy and sad, a light will appear, the pathway be clear, and the heart of the worker be glad. Heaven's portals will open and music resound, and the mansions of bliss will ring with praise for the brave who labor to save, and the angels will joyfully sing. Hold on, hold on, my brother, hold on, hold on till the prize is won. Hold on to the plow and weary not now, for the work is almost done. Okay, let's pray. Our Father in heaven, thank you so much for this beautiful day you've given us. Thank you that we can plow. And we've hit some roots in our garden today. We've hit some rocks. And you give us the ability to throw those rocks out of the garden. But those rocks in our hearts, those sinful habits that we have, we're not able to take those out of our life. But you've promised in your word, in Ezekiel chapter 36, you've promised to take the, the, stony, the stones out of our heart. You've promised to dig those roots out of our life that that grow into those poisonous weeds that poison our life. Thank you, Father, for doing this work in us. Thank you for making us the people you want us to be. Thank you for making us beautiful, that we could grow like a beautiful garden. And we ask and pray in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son.